Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you another video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin just surpassed $10,000, it reached all the way up to $11,000 at one point, drew back just a little bit. But today we're going to go over what is the happening, uh, exactly what is it, and how will it affect Bitcoin in the future. Will Bitcoin, does Bitcoin have another drawback? Or will it shoot up further and we're in the bull market before the happening even happened? But other than that, you guys go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button and let's get into it. Alright, so we're back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cryptocurrency market. Okay, Bitcoin is up a little bit today, 1.07% at $10,833. It did reach $11,000 at one point today. Uh, everything else looking like uh, it had a little drawback today, but it was up on the 24 hour chart. If we look at today's big gainers, Lam, Lambda, uh, worth 15 cents, shot up on 42% today. It looks like a pump and dump. Just look at that chart right there. Looks like a pump and dump, okay? in heads trade all right so those are the big gainers for today the big losers for today is insight chain and abbc coin so yeah these are just um oh neo is down i actually own some neo is down 4.4 percent all right so these are just uh small shit coins all right so um let's look at the market cap okay bitcoin is up one percent today and the market cap is $326,256,853,000. All right here today's volume is traded around $69 billion. I love when Bitcoin volumes is, is traded around a lot. I mean, people are, are actually exchanging, selling, buying, and using Bitcoin. And the BTC dominance is at 59%. All right, so what we've been waiting on, uh, let's get into the, uh, the the meat of this video, okay, guys? Um, Bitcoin happening is bullish for every single cryptocurrency. So as you guys know, when Bitcoin goes up, Ethereum goes up, Litecoin goes up, um, Ripple goes up, everything goes up when, when Bitcoin goes up. But So Bitcoin is the big dog uh, with the uh, Bitcoin dominance over 50, what was it? 59 percent it's almost 60 percent guys all right so what the bitcoin having is i was explaining in the video is that once a certain number of bitcoin is mine the 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 algorithm uh it pays out half of what it originally pays out when that's why it's called the happening it, it, it splits so if it takes you uh, uh 24 hours to mine one Bitcoin. Now it's going to take you 24 hours to mine half a Bitcoin. So the payout ratio is now divided in half, which actually over time since 2012 has shown the history to make the price of Bitcoin go in a bullish state. So um, I'll leave a link down in the description for this read. It's over on ccn.com. But yeah, every time Bitcoin have a happening. All right, so the first happening was in November 28, 2012. And in this, in the date that the Bitcoin shot up to this all-time high was December second, um, 2013. So the happening happening on November 28th, and it took 369 days for Bitcoin to reach a new all-time high. So Bitcoin price in 2012 was 12 dollars and 31 cents per Bitcoin. Imagine Bitcoin is 12 dollars and 31 cents. Wow. All right. And then it shot up to an all time high in 369 days of $994.21 with a percent increase of 7,976 bucks. All right. So if you had Bitcoin back when it was $12.31, I hate you. <laughs> all right. But Bitcoin did have a percent gain of 7,976 bucks since it's happening. All right. The second happening happened in July 9th. On July 9, 2016, in the region's all-time high, December 16, uh, 2017. This is probably the first time you guys ever heard about Bitcoin. I knew about it back then. It's probably you guys' first time ever hearing about it back in 2017. But you didn't know about it when the happening happened back in July 2016. And it took 
526 days for it to reach an all-time high. So, um, Bitcoin back in 2016 was 660 bucks. So it did go down from its all-time high to 994 bucks, all the way back down to 650 bucks. So it went to all-time high, then came back down, kind of like what it's doing right now, right? And then it reached an all-time high since the second happening of 19,535 bucks. And on some exchanges, Bitcoin did reach $20,000 per Bitcoin with a percent increase of 2,902%, all right? All right, now let's get into the meat of it, all right? So it did go from uh, almost an 8,000% gain to a 3,000% gain from 650 bucks to $20,000, all right? So the third happening is projected to happen next year around May or June 2020, all right? The date of its all-time high is to be determined, days. So expect it from the third happening to happen for me to reach its all-time high anywhere from um, 369 days to 526 days. So the shortest that it'll reach an all-time high is 369 days. And it could go all the way up to almost 600 days since it reaches all-time high. All right. So now the, the BTC, BTC uh, supply increase is going to increase by 650 days. 6,000 compared to the 2 millions and the 1.3 millions that it was going up. So the price at happening will probably, so it did go to $20,000 and we had a drawback all the way down, back down to $6,000, I believe. And it's holding above eight dollars $9,000. So let's say Bitcoin is around $9,000 from the third, on the third happening. Okay. Well, let's be conservative. Yeah. Yeah, let's use nine thousand to ten thousand. Let's just say ten thousand dollars because that's where it is now. So let's just say that Bitcoin is around ten thousand dollars where we're at right now at the time of the happening. So let's type in ten thousand dollars and let's say uh, Bitcoin shoots up another two thousand. Um, let's say that's three thousand percent. Let's say it shoot up two point nine or two point five thousand percent. So that's times. Um, 25 move the decimal over two right uh, yeah there we go so Bitcoin will be around if it shoots up two point if it shoots up another two thousand five hundred percent Bitcoin per Bitcoin will be worth around two hundred and fifty thousand two hundred and fifty thousand dollars after the third happening happening around June 2020 so expect the price of Bitcoin to be around $250,000 somewhere late in the year 2021. I'm calling it now. Go ahead, put this video in your, in, your, in your history. Hit the thumbs up button. Come back in 2021 to see if I guessed it right. So I'm calling for the all-time high of the next Bitcoin happening to be the price of the all-time high will be around $250,000. I'm going to sell one of my Bitcoins and buy a house, a rental property, a big one, and probably flip it. But yeah, man, if I'm gonna leave a link down to this CCN article down in the description. Also down in the description, if you guys wanna buy some Bitcoin now, uh, I'm going to leave a link to Coinbase. If you sign up for Coinbase, you get a free $5 worth of Bitcoin just for signing up and depositing $100 to buy some Bitcoin. It's very easy. It's a very easy app to use. All you got to do is link your credit card, link your bank account, and you'll buy and sell Bitcoin straight from an app on your phone. A lot of people ask, can you sell Bitcoin? Can you sell Bitcoin? How do you sell it? How do you buy it? Well, just use Coinbase. It's very simple to use. I'll probably make a video about it sometime in the future. But yeah, that link will be down in the description too. But yeah, guys, other than that, I was just giving you guys an update on how this is a very good read right here. Very, very good read. In fact, let's go look at the charts right quick. Um, view charts, bam. All right. All right, so this is the all-time chart. This is where it reached the all-time high around $20,000. And look at that. Bam, you see how it makes that very predictable chart. I say it's predictable because if we go back before 2018, 
It's the same exact chart right here. Bam, back in 2014 when it happened, it happened. It went shot up, came back down. And then bam, shot back up to an all-time high of $3,000. And then it went back down. And then, then that's when it shot back up to its all-time high. So this little, this big blimp right here is going to look like that big blimp right there. And if you don't believe me, we can go all the way back to 2014. It's always a big blimp right there. And then it comes back down. Uh, it shoots to all-time high, and then it consolidates, and then it shoots to all-time high, and then it consolidates. And if we look back on it, that's the big, that's the little bitty blimp in 2014. That is the little bitty blimp right here in 2016. And this big ass blimp right here is going to be another little bitty blimp over in 2021, guys. This big all-time high twenty thousand dollars is going to be very, very tiny, just like that, over in. 2021 so if you guys do want to buy some um some bitcoin now just use the coinbase link down in the description but yeah other than that this is your boy zeke the crypto miner and i'm out